right, if you want to make a Colorado sports fan mad, just tell them Rockies legend Larry Walker only had a great career because he played at Coors, Ugh. or that the thin air <laughs> of Mile High Stadium gives the Broncos an unfair edge. Yeah, that's awful. Well, tonight we're cutting through the talk show rhetoric and giving you some stone-cold facts about our home field advantage. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer is going 360. Some sports talk radio guy 1,500 miles away has a hot take about how it's unfair for Denver pro sports to play here at Elevation. But guess what? We're not here to talk about him. We're not going to talk about the ridiculous petition to ban professional sports in Denver or even the competing petition that would raise Denver sports stadiums all a thousand feet higher, though this one has double the signatures. So you can just go ahead, forget about all of that. We want to talk about what's actually going on, what the stats and the science says. We're here to talk about the altitude advantage. From ice to the grass, on the hardwood and the diamond, how much of an advantage is being a mile high? We're going 360, speaking with a sports performance expert getting the input from the coach of one of Denver's pro teams, talking with someone who's covered teams here for more than three decades and breaking down what the stats show over time. Let's start with the science. The partial pressure of oxygen in the air is less, which means that there's less oxygen in the blood for your muscles to use and your heart and lungs to use. Kathy Zawanski is the director of endurance sports at the Fast Lab, working with athletes every day to improve their performance, knowing just how much altitude can impact those athletes coming from sea level. They'll have a higher heart rate for the same amount of work they would have at sea level. Their respiration or how frequently they're breathing is increased and their ability to recover from a higher intensity exercise is compromised. Plus, she says athletes who live and play every day at altitude have an acclimated advantage within their own bodies. We have more red blood cells, we have more hemoglobin on our red blood cells that allow you to carry more oxygen. There's a whole hormonal cascade that happens as you get acclimated that trains your body to be able to more efficiently use the lower amount of oxygen that's here. He lets it go. And it's off. Perhaps no one in town knows that more than the head coach of the Denver Nuggets, Michael Malone. It's something that we have and most other teams don't. And it's, you'd be uh, not very intelligent if you didn't try to use it to your advantage. The Nuggets sit near the top of the Western Conference, historically running an up-tempo offense and letting the thin air do the rest. You know, you see teams like Miami. I thought when we played Miami, you, I, I thought they looked visibly tired, acclimating themselves to the altitude. So it, there is an advantage. <laughs> the Broncos aren't subtle about reminding their opponents just how hard it is to play a mile above sea level. They ride it in the stadium, 5280. Altitude sickness is real. They try to get into the opponent's head at, at uh, Empower Field. That's written on the wall right outside the visitor's locker room. And Denver 7's Troy Rank, who's worked in Denver sports since the mid-90s, sees it. You'll see opposing defensive and offensive linemen with their hands on their knees really feeling the effects. It's not just mental. There is a physical effect. But as Troy knows from being on the Rockies beat for 15 years, that physical effect can be disastrous for pitchers taking the mound at Coors Field. High fly ball, deep right field. You don't get the same consistent break on curveballs. And as we all know, any ball hit in the air can be out. The joke is where you're a home plate at Coors Field, you're in scoring position. But sports is about stats. Even those bear out an altitude advantage. Forbes broke down the Nuggets record at home over the last three years. Their home court win percentage worked out to an additional 1.6 wins over the course of a full season. The Broncos, meanwhile, have the eighth best home win percentage in the NFL since 2003. The Avs have won nearly 56% of their home games all time. And since 2007, the Rockies are 94 games over 500 at home, but a staggering 187 games under 500 on the road. Blackman drives one deep to right field. So, once and for all, does Denver have a home advantage? Short answer, yes. <laughs> and keep in mind, the same thing goes for those out-of-breath visiting fans. In Denver, a mile high, 
Jason Grenow, number seven. And we are pretty sure we know how Colorado will feel about this story, but we want to hear your feedback anyway. Email us, please, at thedenverchannel.com. You can also send us a message on Facebook or on Twitter.